Well, the Utah Health Department is placing more regulations on e-cigarette retailers. An administrative ruling issued this afternoon requires all general and age-restricted stores must display this sign in their store immediately. This comes after state health officials link several lung-related illnesses to vaping and regulated THC cartridges. Also during the ruling, grocery stores, convenience stores, and all other general stores will not be allowed to sell flavored e-cig products. People who smoke flavored nicotine products or who vape flavored nicotine products and people who move on to also vape THC products. And that's the correlation is stronger the younger people are. Businesses that do not comply have until October 7th or the health department says they will be violating state law. You can find a link to the proper signage at abc4.com. So how do local businesses feel about these emergency rules? Well, today I spoke to several vape shop owners to get their reaction. Leo Murillo, the general manager of Owl's Smoke Shop in Rose Park, says he's in favor of the new rules. These, these regulations help us because it will help us regulate this and it will stop hindering our industry. You can get it from us and we can trace it back exactly where we're getting it from and all these other stuff that they're getting, we have no idea what they're getting it, who's selling it. Vape shop owners who gathered today for a meeting of the Utah Vapor Business Association say it's not their products causing the illnesses. It's, it's being caused by these THC carts, and we're totally fine educating consumers about that, right? I'm not worried about it because we don't sell that, right? But we do have consumers that do use that product and are forced into a black market here in Utah. Juan Bravo is the president of the Utah Vapor Business Association and owner of VIP Vapors in Orem and Payson. Stores, he says, could go out of business because he does not have the specialty tobacco license required to sell flavored vaping liquids. Under the new rules, he will have to take them off his shelves. That I don't like. That I don't like, just on principle, because there's no correlation between flavored vapor products and THC cartridges. That would be like saying, you know, kids are dying from using cocaine, so let's ban alcohol. Those emergency rules go into effect on Monday and will remain in place for 120 days while the health department figures out permanent rules for retailers.